we do with vocals now, that's what take away the German from them. It's like we don't do 200 takes of each part. We just move on. <laughs> An hour vocals per song, which is very good and is well prepared. They are, first of all, very kind and gentle persons and uh, super organized. Yeah, yeah, they're cool. They're, both of them are really cool guys. Germans, obviously. They <laughs> they come in here. They keep it tidy. It's it's kind of funny. Like every time we get a new band in the studio, you don't know if they're going to be the kind of band that makes a mess of the place or that keeps it tidy and, you know, brings in flowers and sort of perfumes and candles and stuff. Luckily, Stefan's the guy that brings in candles and does all that kind of shit, so he keeps it clean, it's good. I was astounded by how Stefan just kept booklets of ways to organize the band and the songs and all the notes they're playing in different parts, and he can cross-check everything with, you know, with his own notes, so it's really cool just how deep he goes and how much of a finger on the pulse of the band he has. It's cool, cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, but like this. This is like a tour itinerary. Everything we need, timetable, all information about guitars and stuff, track list, how the files is organized, the lyrics and then IDs and stuff they, they want me to do for them. I've worked with tech death bands that do like a guitar pro files but never like printed out in a booklet with the you know obscura logo on the front I've never seen that before <laughs> I normally say, like the pop people, that the first three takes are the best, but that requires that people have been practicing at home. You cannot come here and like, oh, we, we forgot to rehearse, and then you have to spend more time on the recording. That's why you sing first and then you take the mic out to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should uh, bring me as a tour manager. You don't want to have me as a tour manager. If you di dive into all the details all the time, it seems to be like you're gonna get stuck in details. And in the long run, it's better to have like a good take, I think. It's like, oh, that sounds good. Let's go. They're good performers, so why, why shouldn't they be able to do their vocals without a lot of editing? Go again. You was reading the lyrics. You. Yeah. yeah I, I heard it, actually. Because, yeah, because you took away like that. Fuck. I think like the phrasing you did was good, but it's me you just need a more convincing. If we have a good take, why, why do that take 10 times more? It's just, just killing his voice. I can just move that little thing a little bit to the left and yeah, there it is. Replace the Okay, let's do the first one again. Good. And now... <laughs> Nice. 
Uh, Bjorn, have never heard about you, by the way. Have you heard about Bring Me the Horizon? No, no, what is that? It's a new metal band, they sold out to Empty Stadium. Did they? I've never heard about them. It, it's just like, it's, it's a sign of age. Stefan is very professional and it's like we double and triple up vocals, everything is on time, it's no doubt about it. The treasury, the silence, the moon. <laughs> we have to line by line. This is too fast. Regarding vocals, we figured that my range of vocals, especially like screaming vocals, is pretty much close to, to Tompa from At the Gates, and there are a lot of running gags all day going on. Sometimes he, he mentioned less Tompa, sometimes more Tompa, sometimes no Tompa. <laughs> so it's quite funny to work with him. He's a working uh, encyclopedia with tons of stories about the old bands and that also helps if you're not sure what kind of sound you should deliver. What he really needs, he simply gives you an example and it's so smooth to work with Frederick over here. <laughs> Should be done. I come Position number one. It starts as a spoken word. Yeah. Spoken word was really deep today. Was really cool. And all this, this deep voice. <laughs> that was the. I think so far the most funniest stuff to record uh, with his vocals. <laughs> now, when I was thinking because the song is so different, so. And it's also, so far what you have recorded, it's also the most catchiest song. Um, I can try. Uh, let me show you. Something like that.